In this video, we will solve the following intertemporal problem. Uh, consider an economy where the agents live for only two periods and where there is only one good. The lifetime utility of an agent is given by uh, capital U which is equal to UC plus beta VD where U and V are first and second period utilities. C and D are the first and second period consumptions and beta is the discount factor. Uh, we are also given that beta lies between 0 and 1. Uh, assume that U and V are strictly increasing. So basically increasing C or increasing D would lead to increase in the satisfaction level and uh, utility functions are concave. In the first period income is W and in the second period income is 0. The interest rate on savings carried from period 1 to period 2 is R. There is government that taxes first period income. The proportion tau of income is taken away by the government as taxes. This is then returned in the second period to the agent as a lump sum transfer capital T. The government budget is balanced that is T is equal to tau W. We have to set up the agent's optimization problem and for given values of R beta W we will show that increasing T will reduce the consumer's utility if the interest rate is strictly positive. So let us set up the problem first. Here is a problem. You want to maximize the utility. So the utility is uh, UC plus beta VD okay. and uh, we want to maximize it subject to the constraint. So the first constraint is his consumption in period 2 given by D will be equal to his savings in period 1 which is W minus T minus C. T is the taxes that he paid out of his income and C is his consumption plus the interest rate that is going to earn on it so plus R times W minus T minus C and obviously he is going to get back those T in period 2 uh, because uh, the government balances its budget. Uh, so that's his uh, consumption in period 2 so his consumption in period 2 must be his savings plus the rate of return on savings uh, plus the transfers from the government. And we are also assuming because it's, it's not given in the problem that uh, there are no borrowing options available. So uh, he can only uh, lend if he wish and he can earn rate of interest on it, but the, he cannot borrow money if he, if he needs it. Uh, so in, 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 that, in that scenario, uh, C will be less than or equal to W minus T. So T is what government takes away from this, this, this particular consumer in period one. So W minus T will be uh, his leftover income in period, period one. So uh, C, the consumption in period 1 must not exceed W minus T. Okay. This particular constraint can be rewritten as uh, maximize UC plus beta VD, that's the objective which is the same as before and we are just rewriting the constraint in the following way. We are just taking these, this 1 plus RC terms to the left hand side and the right hand side is going to look like this. Okay. And uh, similarly, this particular constraint is going to be exactly the same as before. Okay. Uh, so first, let's plot uh, the first constraint, which is 1 plus RC plus D is equal to 1 plus RW minus RT. And you're going to see uh, something like this. If you're going to plot the second constraint, that's how it's going to look. Now, C is less than or equal to W minus T. So that uh, simply means that this portion is not applicable okay this portion of the line is not applicable so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to remove this and we're going to get finally this as our budget constraint okay note that this is uh, the horizontal intercept of the budget constraint this is the vertical intercept of the budget constraint and both these intercepts are decreasing in t you know if you're going to increase t this is going to go down and if you're going to increase t this is going to go down so let's try and increase t from t to t prime and we're going to get that our budget set is going to look like this. Well, increasing T has led to fall in the budget set. Okay, So if that's the case, then uh, certainly the optimal choice uh, when the tax rate, uh, when the tax is T uh, will be giving you higher satisfaction level than when it is T prime. The reason is no matter what point you're going to pick on it. Okay. Uh, and since utility is increasing and if you want to move in this direction you will find a point on the uh, on the budget line with lower t that is going to be superior to the point on uh, the budget line with uh, t prime okay 
so the final situation is going to look like this in which utility uh, at uh, taxes t will be higher in optimum than utility at taxes t prime okay so we have shown that increasing t will lead to a fall in the satisfaction level because of uh, fall in the budget set